Good morning to the number one college basketball team in America is back in Lexington. The basketball cats take sole place as the number one ranked team in the country on Monday. 4-0 Kentucky will host Boston tonight inside Rupp Arena 9 p.m. tip time on the SEC Network. The process of figuring out who meshes well on the court continues for head coach John Calipari. Assistant coach John Robick, he met with the media yesterday and so did Marcus Lee who dropped a Wizard of Oz reference. Yeah, take a listen. There's so much ahead of us that we need to get to. Um, and we haven't even got, we haven't gotten on the yellow brick road if y'all want to talk like that. But like we're not even close to being close, and that's something they understand, and uh, something that Cal always talks about. Uh, defensively, um, as well, just making some adjustments as as practice started until now has gotten drastically better. But we still feel that we have a long ways to go in every aspect of, of the game. Hey, Tyler Eulis is the Southeastern Conference Co-Player of the Week. Eulis helped the basketball Cats to a pair of wins last week, including a win over number five Duke in the Champions Classic. He went for a career-high 21 against Wright State as well. Eulis shares the award with Georgia's Kenny Gaines. All right, some SEC action now at the Maui Invitational. Bill Walton playing a little drum with the Hawaiian dancers yesterday. Vandy taking on St. John's first half. Luke Cordett sets the screen. Matthew Fisher Davis. He throws the jam home. Commodore's up by four. Later in the half, Wade Baldwin, the fourth, steals the pass and it does his thing at the other end. I mean, Bandy was just killing it yesterday. Nine for Baldwin. Now it's Baldwin in transition, dishing it over to Noah Kressler. The run continues. Jeff Robertson, pull up three ball. Oh, the doors were on fire. Riley Lachance now throwing the oop to Cornet. No problemo for number 19 Vanderbilt. Cameron Justice adds nine points for the Commodores, and they stay perfect, 92-55. Now to football, Kentucky, Louisville. The records don't matter, right? No, wrong. Don't throw all the records out just yet because it's a rivalry game. The records actually do matter, especially to Kentucky, because if the football Cats win the Governor's Cup Saturday, they officially become bowl eligible. It's also senior day as well at Commonwealth Stadium, and Stoops wants his guys to go out with a bang, plus gain some extra practice time with the win. Yeah, I think it'd be very important. Um, you know, we need the practices. I think we're getting uh, better uh, as the season goes on. We're developing younger players. We're, 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 we're getting better. Uh, we need the work. Um, you know, as you know, uh, we get to, you know, some stretches in the season with the depth of our team. We get... Uh, beat down at times, um, but with a, a little bit of time off and to get back and basically have another spring practice it would be would be huge for us. The last four Governor's Cups belong to Louisville, so this senior class in Kentucky trying to win their first. It's a noon kick time on the SEC Network if you're not heading to Commonwealth Stadium on Saturday. That's final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.